Moonlight School Reflections. You are over here with Tarethia, and we are here to talk about your or your earliest memories of magic. Now it says, what is your earliest memory of encountering magic in your life? Now we all have encountered magic before we probably even knew what magic was reflection. Go back into your memory, go back into back when and think about your earliest encounter that you can think of of magic reflection okay we all have one especially over here in the night school you may especially now learning more um remembering more because you already know this remembering more reflection you will notice hey that what i did that was magic okay that was a low form okay that was a little bit too you believe in magic and i didn't even know it was magic okay so um i'll tell you my, what is my earliest memory of encountering magic um i was little reflection and when i say um you know what I, mean? I was little reflection and you know reflection you can't light no candles around me even as a little one you could not like a candle because i'm automatically attracted to it i'm going to what is that is that a flame what is the flame what does this do i'm curious the scorpion in me has always been curious we want no things so anyways reflection i just remember my mother of course she lit a candle um and she went somewhere and I just remember her telling me clearly do not touch this candle. Okay. She told the scorpion, do not touch the candle. And I said, okay. All right. But reflection, normally I would have obeyed, but this was a candle for God sex reflection like ah, uh, how you gonna light a candle around a little you get what i'm saying little scorpion reflection so anyways next thing i knew i wondered i went closer to the candle and i'm like wow this is that a flame like this is cool right here i wonder what would happen if i take this piece of paper because it was cold outside reflection and i wanted to I, i'm a caring person i wanted to make sure everything around me was warm because i'm warm too and i got to the flame and i noticed it's hot okay so maybe what would happen the scientific in me i said what would happen if i put the paper to the flame oh my god it's hot wow it makes a bigger flame let me drop this paper on the bed oh my goodness this is a even bigger flame oh my goodness this is abracadabra right here this is definitely abracadabra i can't even move i want to run and tell someone because it's getting it's getting out of control <laughs> it's getting out of control but i couldn't move i couldn't go anywhere so luckily my brother aries ram came in there and he was just like oh what are you doing and i'm just like you were supposed to be watching me but anyway to make a long story short reflection they ended up getting the fire out it wasn't a big deal it was a little bit had to get another bit or whatever but it was, you get what i'm saying reflection okay it happens what okay lesson learned all right but anyway that's my earliest form of magic and it's with that being said reflection um Fire magic, if you've been in the night school, it can work a little different. And you know certain elements, certain um spiritual um depending on what you believe in, they work within fire reflection. And I just think I just think that it was very amazing. I said what I just think. I just think it was very amazing that um I didn't get caught in that fire reflection because it wasn't um just uh he ran in there immediately. Okay, I'm just saying if you know what Aries, they take their time doing things. All right, but when they get to doing it, they you get what I'm saying. Shout out to y'all. Okay, but anyway, make a long story short, reflection that was my earliest um form of magic that I can remember. So tell me um what was your earliest form of magic? Drop in the comments and let me know. Until next time, I shake.